Today I want to talk about three easy ways to improve your libido and your sex drive for your partner. We all know that pressure, stress can decrease libido, but what are some other easy ways that you can have more desire for your partner in and outside of the bedroom after the show reel? Number one, set some time that you know you're gonna have for your partner, whether that be a date night, whether that be a time to chat, time in the bedroom. And before that though, build up to it. Like remember when you were dating, and maybe you still are dating, remember when you were dating, how you used to think about it, you had a time set, and for days or hours at least, you'd be thinking about meeting that special person, what may or may not happen, Maybe you'd be texting, flirting, fantasizing. Pull that back in to your relationship. That's a type of foreplay. And of course, real foreplay is important as well. Did you know that there's a red Australian spider that actually the male will dance on the female's web for a hundred minutes in order to create excitement and foreplay for her? Of course, it's also because if he doesn't have enough foreplay, she might bite off his head. It's a little bit different. We don't necessarily want to do that to our partner. But it's important in so many species, that connection and that foreplay. Number two, besides decreasing your own stress, increase your self-esteem. Do something that makes you feel special, that makes you feel attractive. Groom your body, uh, do your hair, whatever it takes. Also, make sure that you find a level of body comfort. Right? Because everything you are and everything you do is normal. Everything you feel sexually, every way that you smell for the majority of people is very, very normal. So if you're having challenges with this and this is decreasing your libido or decreasing your sex drive, hop over to my Touch Remedies channel and look at some tapping videos to help you clear that body image or check out my Path to Passion class because you can actually change your body image in a way that makes you feel desirable to your partner. And when you feel desirable, you'll show it with confidence, which will also increase your hormone levels that increase your desire and that libido for yourself. Number three, know your turn-ons and your turn-offs. This is so important. I can't even tell you how important this is. There's this great book by Emily Nagoski called Come As You Are. And so if you're not sure what your turn-ons or turn-offs are, or she likes to call them your accelerators and your brakes, and these can be subtle things like mood, coloring, lighting, certain words, certain touches, certain positions. It can be as subtle as someone saying something and bad timing or laughing in a certain way, right? So for some people, laughter and playfulness is a super big turn on when they're intimate times. And other people, it's scary. It's a turn off. It makes them feel like they're being made fun of. So if you start really exploring what actually makes you want it more, what makes you want it less, and those are two different mechanisms, right? So we can, and some people have very easy turn on abilities and some people don't it takes a little longer so know that about yourself trust that about yourself and really clearly communicate that to your partner and that goes for both men and women right it's always the theory that it always is foreplay that's needed for women but a lot of men need foreplay too it just might look a little bit differently and of course that's your bonus tip communicate like i know it sounds cheesy and i know people don't want to communicate but tell your partner what you like what you don't like have an agreement that you can talk during your foreplay, during sexual activity, that you can ask each other for what you want and do the best to try to fulfill that without taking it personally. Because as you explore each other, things change day to day. I know some days things are more sensitive, things are less sensitive. You want different things, your mind is going some days and other days it's calm and all of those things are gonna impact your sex drive, your desire, your libido, how fast you get turned on or how easily you get turned off. So the more you can communicate in the moment, the better off you're gonna be. So please, if you found any value, tell me, what do you like about this video? What are you gonna try next in the bedroom or in your life to get turned on more easily and increase your own libido? Like the channel, subscribe, and check out my Path to Passion class below if you're more interested. Remember your love, your loving, and your lovable. We'll see you next time.